So hello guys, this is uh, <coughs> my video about how I play Zillion, and I like to run 9021 on Zillion. Sometimes I do 2109 also, but most of the time I prefer 9021, so I stack the EXP buff with the masteries and level Welcome super fast. For the runes, I like to run uh, magic pen reds and HP per level blues, I mean yellows or uh, flat, uh, I mean it's like armor, flat armor yellows. For uh, MR, I mean MR blues, seven of them and two uh, magic pen blue runes. For the quints, I like to use flat AP. And summoners always get ignite flash. <coughs> Sometimes, if you find, you can actually do teleport flash also, but most of the time you should get uh, ignite flash. The skilling you should max Q first, and then max W first, and then E, of course. So you should always g have one point of each uh, before level four. I mean, at level four, and max Q first. Minions have spawned. In the beginning, buy boost three parts, and you can help your teammates do a. Uh, leash whatever and help them speedy jungle do whatever you have to help them get a faster gank on mid most of the time though you can just go mid and uh, scout whoever who, who's mid and for laning versus this game I have Merv versus a Morgana usually you can't do too much versus her but this this player is not too too good, so I think he dies in a bit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <coughs> in the beginning, of course, there's nothing much to do, so you just CS a little bit, and it's not as exciting. So I'm just gonna speed it up a little. You should always be watching the mini map and look for uh, uh, opportunities to gank. Though Zillion can actually roam really well at level three and four because of just speeding and then the double bomb. Level 5 also. Level 5 is the strongest time for Zillion to be in the early game. And any time that your opponent is not ready, you can easily roam and s start on any, any enemy champion with an E and then Q, Q, W, Q them with, along with Ignite. And if your teammates are, uh, are ready, they would obviously follow up and usually it will result in a kill on any of the other lanes. Usually Morganas can push you fairly hard, but this one does not, and I just free farm and free push. But here I play kind of scared, like I don't barely, I barely go 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 past the middle because at that time uh, the Nautilus didn't show up up top yet, so he could if he does decide to gank me, I would probably die to him fairly easily. That's why I was playing like a coward in the back over here. Until this guy showed up top, and then I tried to go up to help him in case uh, he really does survive or actually gets caught but survives and drags the Nautilus towards the tower. And here's what I, I was talking about about the gang. I'm level 4, and I know there's, there can't be any wards here. I need to know exactly how many wards that Jaina has and where he warded. He has a green and a pink ward. And this guy is pushed all the way into the tower. I barely even lose any creep kills. And I just walk down and start with E, as I said, and then QWQ them. And I base and get. Uh, usually I rush, uh, what's that called? Callus as fast as possible. And then I'll, every every trip back, even the first trip back, I always buy two wards and have at least two, two to three health potions. And rush back to CS. Our jungler ganks top, but, and he—I can't remember what happened. With the big replay. I can't see the HPs. And the Nautilus pops out to counter gank, but the guy dies anyway. Because double buff Shaco ganks are too strong. There's no way that the uh, Cinch can escape the entire path, entire lane. And 
not much happens again because I'm just CSing. But it's really important to get your callus as fast as possible because that's also when you will get a huge bonus and become really strong in lane. Nothing happens for a while, and here's the thing. Also, I think this guy, if I remember correctly, he gets hit by uh, my double bombs on creeps a lot. If you see, especially the back lane creeps after you're like level five. You can hit the, hit the back lane creeps once, and if the enemy champion walks anywhere close to the champ, uh, the uh, creeps that you have hit once, you can double bomb instantly, double bomb the creeps in the in the the range creeps in the back, and get a big instant chunk off your enemy because you will explode and kill the back range champ minions instantly since you have hit them once. And the part of the laning that so makes you Zillion laning so good in the beginning is because you have crazy attack range. Look at your attack range, you have 600 attack range. And your attack animation is also very good. This guy goes crazy over here. Challenge though, ch he doesn't have anything and challenging him. But I, luckily I'm here to ult him, I just hit 6 also. And then we end up uh, doing alright. We actually use the my ultimate for uh, Morgana's ultimate ignite and flash. So that was pretty good. Ended up being pretty good. And go back to CSing. Until he comes back, there's actually not too much to do. But right, right here, I could have actually. Uh, actually, I don't have mana. If I had mana at that time, I would have roamed top to gank him right there. It would have been a free kill if I had a little bit more mana. And after, your jungler should always help you get the blue. The second blue and on should always be yours. And if he doesn't, you should ask. If he doesn't naturally give it to you, you should ask for it. Zillion with blue is one of the strongest mid AP carries because you can just speed yourself and then charge up and then double bomb them and then just run away without taking any damage at all. And also you can roam unbelievably well, even tower dive because of your LT and your speed. Bottom this Morgana teleports to try and do something here and I tried to go and help them out and so or see if I can clean up anything. But uh, our support Alistar died way too fast for me to do anything. But over here, I, I bet it on that this war this uh this tri brush over here would not be warded. And I if I remember correctly, I think I get uh, a kill off here. Yep. There's flash, it's slow. <coughs> also something very important I, is a lot of the times you need to start with E. You need to open on your enemy with E. Just so they don't get away and then because some people have the misinformation that you just always Q QWQ them. But that's wrong. Because if you do that, most of the time you actually won't be able to get your E off if they have any uh, m movement spells. So you always start with the E and then once you get your E off, even if they flash, you can still just walk up to them and catch up. Or you can even flash. But no matter what, there there's no way they can get away if you E them first and then double bomb. And then you can keep following. After late game, you should have quite a bit of CDR. And you can easily <coughs> E and Q them again. Or E and QQ them again. <coughs> right here, I come back to mid after I got killed. This guy escapes from top but runs into a kill. Over here I kind of misclick a whole bunch of times but he dies in the end anyway. But I somehow missed the assist because I didn't actually do any damage to him. Over here I was gonna, I should have got the bomb on him but he uh, over this area he ran out of line of sight. This area can actually line of sight people so I missed the bomb and actually clicked it on myself. So I didn't get the kill slash assist because he died before my bond. I did any damage. <coughs> right now I have my main item that I need early game, so I'm doing very well. Yeah, 
I have a kill and a fifth. And he uses blue shield, so obviously I just walk up and bomb him as he mispositioned himself, so he lost a lot of health. Right now, I know that they don't have too many wires up, and also they're in a losing situation already. So I'm actually gonna run around a little bit more in a bit. And mid mid sides, both sides should always be double warded if you play any mid champions. Even though Zillion is one of the better champions at escaping, but you should still double ward because if you double ward, not just pre 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 from for preventing ganks, you can also have your jungler come and counter gank if you see someone hide here and you can pretend like you don't know him and ping him a whole bunch of times and call your jungler to like close in on him and uh, counter gank him. Here I saw that Morgana is collecting bombs so I only ping him a whole bunch of times and I follow down here also. So, but I don't show up yet because <clears throat> if he does actually decides to come all the way in, I want him to, to think that I'm not there. So I can come in after after he goes all in and I'll take whoever he tries to kill. And then he will uh, be in a very, very bad position after he like, let's say he charged in here and tried to tower, that tower dive him. And then I popped in and showed up and I'll take whoever he tried to kill. and. He probably die after he blow everything and fail to get a kill because I ulti someone. But my blues ends and Lillian is a crazy mana cost champion. So I go Oom really quickly. Here I should have actually stayed one more wave because this guy recalls I can instantly clear this wave with my double bomb and make him miss some EXP. But I just recall because I. I was lazy. <laughs> Quickly get back to lane and see my blues up. Blue is extremely important and you should always get it ASAP when it spawns. Also because if you don't get it ASAP or if your jungler is elsewhere uh, ganking when your blue is about to spawn, the enemy could always uh, steal counter jungle you and take it away from you. And that is, puts you in a bad position. Because the zillion without a blue buff will get just uh, uh, pushed in by the Morgana way too much and I have to base all the time and even if I base all the time I would still miss EXP and that will allow me to I mean not allow me to be able to roam ever again and I'll be pushed up in my tower uh, the entire rest of the laning phase also it's more important to get get the blue as soon as it spawns because if you don't and if the enemies get it, they will have the cooldown on it, they will have control of it the next time it spawns also. And that would snowball in a really bad way. <coughs> and come down here to help them do the dragon. There's no wards there because we pinked it. And then since I know there's no wards there, not too many people ward this actually. They like to ward this and over here is where people like to ward. So I come down and uh, start with E. And Q and Q, of course. And you can hide and pick up another kill on Jaina. This guy teleports down. And I ulti, use my ulti instantly. Whoever he tries to kill. But. There's nothing too much we can do here. Can try. Right here, I should have slowed the. Slow the singed. Instead of speeding this guy. Because slowing slowing enemies is always more effective than speeding yourself. So if you're ever escaping from any enemy champions, like you're running away, or you're trying to slow them down to keep chasing, if you can ever put the slow on the enemy champion, you should always do it over speeding yourself or your teammates. Right here I go extremely greedy. Although I do get a kill, but it's still not as good because I lost blue for it. But it's not too big of a deal. But I do get this guy killed. Although he didn't have to follow me, but most pl team players they will like uh, come help, try and help me do s something because they feel like they're part of the team and they want to do something. It's called teamwork. So I actually baited him into dying. But if he was smart, he wouldn't have died. And I would just have went crazy and killed Morgana by myself and died after. And anytime you you die, you use your ulti, 
Especially if you have blue, you should always be spamming your W to get your ulti up as soon as possible. And team fights also. Basically any time after you use your ulti, you should be spamming your W non-stop. So you can get your ulti up as soon as possible. Most of the time, it only takes like 20-30 seconds to get your ulti back up late game with level 3 ulti and blue buff and whatever possibly CDR items you have. And that's also why I like to go uh, utility 21 points. Because that CDR is so good. <coughs> here this guy almost dies. So I'm here. I want him to keep going, that's why I keep pinging. But he actually didn't understand what I'm trying to say through my pings. Because I'm coming, I'm, I keep pinging, I tell him to fight to the death and not be scared. Because I can ulti him and it will put us in a really good position. But it's okay, not too big of a deal. We don't really lose anything. It just turns out even. No one loses anything. No one gains or nothing because my blue's down still. <coughs> and I go back farming. And often, if a wave is coming at you and there's no pressure from the enemy champion, you can walk up and drag the melee creeps onto the range creeps and double bomb everything, the entire creep wave at, all together. Or you can just do this, double bomb the front and the back. After level 9, you sh your bomb should be able to one-shot the range creeps. So if, you have, if there's pressure and you want to push, bomb both the, the front wave and the back, uh, back range minion. Or else you can drag it all up and it will eat them down. Here the dragon is about to spawn and they are gaining the position over here. They are clear, clearing the entire area of wards with their is oracle. <coughs> this guy is already really low because he uh, didn't pay attention to the creeps that I dub double bombed and randomly got double bombed again. So he's actually really chunked and dragon's coming soon but the R blue is here and I really want it. The most important thing to Zillion, you gotta get the blue always, whenever it's available. I actually could have killed him right here because he double bombed. I mean, he shielded, and then I was still in range of him. And I could have just slowed him and keep following him a little bit. Even if I take a few tower shots, it's fine because I have ulti. And I, might, I would have been able to double bomb him again with Ignite, and he would die for sure. But. I just played it safe because I know somebody is around here, Nalus, I last seen on the river too. So I played it safe, even though I probably most likely would have killed him right here. The chances of me dying is pretty high too, since Nalus is, I know he's on the river somewhere. <coughs> and here, I get the blue and I instantly see this guy gets initiated on and I start pinging. I ping my, myself. Because most people when they're in, in a skirmish or a team fight, they won't look at the minimap ever. But they will hear the pings and then they will look. And they will look exactly to where I was pinging. And I charged all the way up here and I barely got the ulti off on him. But I could have got it off 100% if I decided to decided that I wouldn't be able to reach. And I would have flash ultied him and I would have reached him 100%. That was a really clutch save. And the Koreans love me for it. <coughs> Going back mid. This Morgana is already extremely behind. He barely has any items. He doesn't even have his first item yet, and I have already have. I'm already five one, and with Rod of Ages and halfway to my uh, death cap, which is extremely good progress on items. But yeah, for items usually you get the. Uh, <clears throat> you rush the Callus, rush Rod of Ages, right after you, sh or somewhere in between the Rod of Ages, or right, right after, you should always get the Sorg Shoes. And at that time, it's probably your strongest time. And sometimes, in a lot of situations, you actually will s finish your Rod really slowly. Unless things go as well, you should get, you would get your uh, Death Cap really fast. But most of the time, you're gonna end up, it's gonna end up taking a while. Here I ulti this guy. <coughs> Sometimes I don't have to ulti him also, I can use it on more important uh, champions. Or I can even use it on myself. This is not the... 
end ends all really well, even though it looks like it was really going real bad. Because I can E myself endlessly. Once you get a few levels on your E, you can chain E yourself once you have uh, blue also. Some CDR and blue buff, you can uh, infinitely E yourself, keep yourself sped. But remember once again, you should, shouldn't should always E yourself, especially if there are other champions that you have to uh, put it on. Because the sl slowing enemies is always more effective than uh, speeding any anyone. Unless it's like you can speed your teammates up to initiate. And that's basically it for my uh, Zillion little game. This is how I play Zillion. Thank you for watching.